Hey guys, welcome back. We have an update already. I know it was uh, only four days ago that we were taking a look at Luca Design slash LucaJackets.com slash Chris, uh, whatever he wants to call himself. We're, we're, we're going back. We already had people reaching out. If you have any issues, if you had any issues with this individual, then please do let me know what's going on. We've seen many things that he's done that is sketchy, to say the least. So let's uh, we'll do a quick recap in case anyone missed that video, but I would recommend going back and watching it. Uh, that's the one on screen here. It is uh, it is almost an hour long. It's a long one, but we did uh, we did phone we did phone them we did phone the people involved, um, called them up. You know we we gave them a little call a rule, and uh, and it's uh, I think it's worth a watch. Regardless, we're gonna we're going into much less detail today, uh, but here he is, our boy Luca G, aka Chris. And uh, I, I guess we kind of go over it a little bit in the previous video, but uh, he was selling jackets. Uh, the jackets are almost certainly just a cheap crap that he's buying from China, claiming that he designed and handmade it uh, wherever he plans on residing at the time. I think Hollywood is what they're claiming. Uh, the the address or the uh, the where the business is located. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Apparently, he's in Canada. Uh, and uh, and oh, your guess is as good as mine. So you can see here, he pr he's probably going to run into a few issues with uh, copyrighted um, logos and or material and or uh, franchise that don't take kindly to that. And we did see a, a very fine example of that. So here we have the, the DMs that were highlighted in the previous video. Um, the, the biggest thing here, I mean, he's, he's e-begging for um, charity. I don't believe the charity even exists. Or he would probably name it uh, in some way, I would say. Uh, but it seems like that's his, his go-to in the DMs. He's always asking for some sort of a charitable donation. Uh, in the, in this example, the first one, uh, where he is uh, trying to scam the the seller uh, by saying that the, the the slab showed up damaged. Meanwhile, it was packaged very well, uh, and uh, you got caught in this lie, Luca Luca Chris, uh, because. If you take a look at the back side here, that is an English back. Uh, he was sold a Japanese card, so here he's trying to fake that there was damage on it uh, in order to get a partial refund uh, in order to scam. So scam, charity, uh, e-bagging, and uh, also false claims of damage in order to abate uh, par partial, partial refunds and or refunds. So if you know anyone, if you were a person that was in contact with him and he did something similar to you, I would like you to reach out to me. Uh, we much appreciate it. Discord's the best way to do that, as per usual. Um, so again, we there's always, it's like a different area code, a different location for everything that he does. So on the um, on the order information here, we can see that the, there is a phone number. The phone number is one of the two uh, phone numbers that are linked to that Luca Design scam company whatever the fuck you want to call it um regardless we we found tim i don't think tim knew tim was forwarding stuff to uh chris so this is why i think his name is chris and not uh, luca chris villa villa roll uh new outpost on ebay uh this is a good reason guys if you if you don't have any other reason to join the discord and you sell on ebay or you buy on ebay and you'd like to add to your block list uh, we have a mighty fine suggested block list on on there that you can add. You can copy paste it in and uh, and make sure you're up to date. Uh, I do update it. I can't put everyone on there. Like if someone said uh, that they wanted to have relations with your mother and you got in, a, in an argument with them in, in DMs, I'm not going to put them on there. But um, I would like to see those DMs because it's pretty funny. Now, um, Texas. So we're shipping to Texas, but Texas, Texas Tim... He was forwarding the the mail uh, to Chris in Canada because, I mean, probably largely to do with avoiding paying taxes on it. Uh, but I would say that uh, sometimes, I you know, sometimes it's, it's the only viable option here uh, because not every seller is going to ship to Canada. Um, but, uh, but very nice of him here to put the Luca design on, on the... the on the shipping address. I don't know why he did that. I guess so Tim doesn't think that it's his card that he's receiving. It's it, He knows that it's going to Chris instead. Now, the jackets. Yes, the jackets were a scam front to back. 
from start to finish. Um, these things look like shit. They look like absolute shit. It's just like most of them are just leather jackets um, with uh, with some stuff stitched onto them. I don't know. I would assume that most of the work that uh, that he's getting done is being done overseas. Uh, again, China is my first guess, but it could be some other some other country um, that, uh, that provides and uh, assembles garbage to your clothing. Uh, he, this was a Kickstarter again. Uh, he wanted to let on that this was only an issue with one person's jacket. It wasn't. There was multiple people. Uh, we go through many reviews <clears throat> in the previous video in the full length feature. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Uh, what's uh, what's going on? What's the what's the update, Rattle? What's going on here? We have Collectors Outpost has now privated their feedback, which is pretty funny. Uh, I don't know if this is um, due to the, the phone call or due to the fact that he probably watched the video that I made. Uh, and uh, I, I guess they're gonna they're gonna hide their feedback. I, I don't know if that's gonna help you in any way. Hopefully, we can get the word out to enough people uh, that no one else gets scammed by this Wiener Baby sixty nine. Uh, again, G baller. I don't know what it is. It's like again, guys. I, I'm, I'm seeing a trend here. Anyone that's producing uh, clothing, it, it ends up it's scamming Pokemon somehow, some way, some. Eventually, it's just what they do. It's what they get into. All right, we have here the next, the next little ordeal, where uh, Chris slash Luca says, "Hi, if you are not going to cancel, can you please work with our charity to get a few cards, gold star cards or specials?" Uh, <laughs> so he, um, for context here, he won the auction, uh, and he's asking the seller to cancel, but also at the same time asking for free stuff for charity. Again, there's no never been any point here where he shows that I've seen at least uh, that there actually is a charity. It sounds like the charity is him uh, when he's not actually scamming you. He's begging you for for Pokemon cards. So the seller replies back with, "You're the buyer. You should be the one canceling. The auction was up for seven days and you won, and now you've decided to waste my time by not paying. Why would I want to work with your charity?" I'm letting a certain amount of time elapse so your account gets a strike from eBay for non-payment. I think that's fair. That's a, that's the good thing to do. Um, if you're selling on eBay and anyone has an issue, make sure that they're actually opening uh, whatever case that they have to do and you're not just like partial refunding. Uh, if they show some damage, make sure they open it up so at least there's like a, a track record or a, a trail or a, a, a trend uh, that the, the eBay support can actually see. Um, that they're, they're they're abusing the platform, uh, they're abusing the I guess the the rights or the the super special protection that you have as a buyer. Um, all right, so he says I sent you a message to cancel right away. Please use the seller tools to cancel. I just have a weird vibe. <laughs> I just have a weird vibe from the way you are treating me. It's not customer focused. Well, we asked for two different things, and you choose to belittle us instead of answering the questions. Not a good sign. <laughs> oh my God, man! Like this is the kind of thing that like makes people not want to sell on eBay. Uh, I can assure you that not everyone's like this. There are there are people out there like this um, that are going to be an absolute pain in your ass. Um, why are you bidding on stuff that you don't plan on paying for? I don't know. I never understood that. Like it, you're committing to buy something when you're bidding on it, and when you win it, you have to buy it. It's not just like, a, oh yeah, don't worry about it. You can just relist it. No, you're wasting everyone's time. I'm not treating you in any particular way. The auction you bid on and won was up for seven days. You won the auction and then messaged me to cancel the order right away. Why are you bidding on items you have no intention of purchasing? It's rude, and you're wasting the time of sellers by doing this. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. Awesome. I'm glad we're in agreement. I would never want someone like you as a customer, which is why I'm uh, talking to you the way I am. No one is bel belittling you. So, um, would recommend not don't don't fight with somebody if you're the seller on eBay. Don't fight with someone. It's not gonna make it any better. Um, it's 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 best to just to block, move on, take whatever steps you need to do to make sure everything's right. Um, clearly he's not going to pay for this. And if he does, he's going to be upset. So like fighting with him, even though he deserves it, he's an absolute piece of shit trying to scam people. 
um, with with fake damage and uh, trying to get things canceled and trying to bait out free cards because he's claiming it's for charity. All of it, just, yeah, terrible person. Uh, 100% deserves to be banned from the platform. Should be on everyone's block list. No one is belittling you. You sent me a message wanting to cancel and said my atoms were inflated. That's how you started the conversation. So you set a tone for conversation, not me. Get a grip. Um, <laughs> inflated. I, when, you're the t when you're the highest bidder and you say something's inflated. No tone at all. We requested for cancellation. We notified you that it's a charity. It's how you are choosing to read it. I apologize. $20 card. Ahoyas isn't impact your life too much with the Reliant feature. Thanks for understanding. Shouldn't. So, yeah, guys, that's what do we got here? Don't bet on items you have no. Uh, it's not the twenty dollars that's bothering me. That's we're missing a part here. Not the twenty dollars that's uh, bothering me. It's your lack of self awareness as a user on this platform. Don't bet on items you have no intention of purchasing. It's a waste of time. Uh, it's a waste of time for the seller, and it shouldn't. Be, it should be for you as well, but maybe you don't value your own time, which is your prerogative. Have a good week. I appreciate your time. I do. If I want another major card for the charity, I would just ship that cheaper card and donate it as well. I'm an advisor on the board, and I would assign. But we do have a budget, and this gold star, Marie too, would be great. Okay, so he still wants the card. He just doesn't want to pay the full price for the card. So when he, he it, that's not how it works. That's that's not how auctions work. You can't just tell them you want it for less money than what you won the auction for after you win the auction. You can't fake damage on this stuff. Hopefully he didn't get too many people with the fake damage kind of stuff that he was shenanigans that he was doing. I really hope no one sent him cards for charity. Uh regardless. Um thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for um uh, watching this one, watching the last one. Um Kind of spreading the word to make sure that people uh, don't get um, caught uh, caught up in these scammeronies. Again, um, that's a look out for each other out there. Stay away from this stuff, uh, and uh, with with your help, with everyone's help, we can we can certainly make that a little bit easier. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. If you're watching this on the day that it comes out, it is going to be the happy hour chat, as per usual, the once per week video and voice call. On the Discord, if you want to hop in, come on in. Would love to see you there. See you next time. Bye.